Hello, welcome back to Dual Citizen on CHMR 93.5 FM in St. John's, Newfoundland, Saturday, March 27th. Very, very special show this evening. I'm going to be interviewing Jason Augie from the infamous Besnard Lakes, talking to them about their brand new release, pardon me, and live streaming showcases, canoeing in northern Saskatchewan, and just some sweet music. Music, sweet music. But before we get to that interview, I'm going to go back through time with the Biz on Lakes, starting with the track for Agent 13 from the Dark Horse album, uh, released in 2007. Then we'll hear Albatross from the Biz on Lakes, or the Roaring Night. Then we'll reload after the break for more music from Biz on Lakes. Enjoy.
Welcome back to part two of Dual Citizen. We're working through the Besnard Lakes catalog on our way to a great interview with Jason Augie of the Besnard Lakes. We got a bit more musical history to unpack before that interview and some tracks from the new album. The Besnard Lakes are the last great thunderstorm warnings. Next up, we have from the 2013 release Until an Excess Imperceptible UFO, the tracks Color Your Lights. And people of the sticks very cool video they got cool videos too I mean, I remember that to check out their videos on youtube or wherever you can find them then from 2016's a coliseum complex museum the plain moon and ne- oh pardon me coliseum complex museum that's the name of the album attracts the plain moon and necronomicon 
Sit back, enjoy, and stay in tune after the break for this wonderful interview. Oh 
Hello, Jason Augie in Magical, Mythical, Mystical Montreal. Thank you for kindly joining me on Dual Citizen CHMR 93.5 FM in St. John's. How are you doing? Oh, we're doing very good. How are you? I'm I'm doing very good. And uh, I, I want to I'm gonna open this up a little bit here. Uh, now, the name uh, Besner Lakes brings me a lot of joy because it not only connects me to your wonderful music, it also connects me to past journeys along the Churchill River, paddling just north of Besner Lake en route to Stanley Mission. In fact, Whoa. yeah. I had a dream last night of paddling the Churchill. Your music, your music was in the wind, letting us all know a thunderstorm was on its way and we should tell, take shelter. So we did, stopping at Besner Lake to ride this one out. And, oh, and luckily, yeah, <laughs> in my oh, lucid dream, I brought my river turntable and the entire Besner Lakes collection, starting from the Dark Horse, sitting tight in the shelter, all the way to the end. The Besner Lakes are the last great thunderstorm warnings. Tell us more. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I've been dreaming about, there's a round trip yep. that you can do, uh, the Besner Lakes like, canoe portage trip that you can do. Okay. And it goes up through like Sandfly Lake and Great Bear Lake yep, and yep. then comes back down through through Besner. I think it takes about five or, five or seven days. And every year we're up there, There's some, we'll see someone paddle through because the beach, mm -hmm. the, there's a beach like right on the, like, we're at the campsite and there's a beach at the campsite. So you know, okay. we're, we're a lot of times we're just hanging out at the beach and they'll, they'll, they roll right past us. And so they'll come in. Sometimes they'll use the, there's like a, like a really primitive like shower area. Okay. At the campsite. They'll stop there and clean themselves up and keep going. So a lot of times I see them and I'm just, I get so excited for them. I'm like, man, cause they get to see, there's actually like, uh, uh, like cave paintings up there. Okay. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty magical. I mean, obviously, we think it's the most magical place in the world. But, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've, yeah, we would paddle from Otter, Otter to Stanley, and then you know, stop off at Larange for some some treats in the big city there, and then uh, <laughs> then then, uh, then head back to summer camp. Um, wow! Yeah, that is so cool, man. Yeah. So tell us more about this this brand new odyssey and creation of yours, the the la the last of the great thunderstorm mornings. Yeah, I mean it took a long time for us to make this. I mean we didn't even really think we were gonna make a record. Okay. Uh, we parted ways with Jag Jaguar, our label. Okay. Uh, a couple, I mean maybe about about a year or so after Coliseum Complex Museum came out, our right. last record. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, we, you know, we kind of, both the label and us kind of just sort of came to the conclusion that it was maybe time, you know, like you take it, you start kind of taking advantage of each other. But okay, we love the you. label, but it yep. was a tough decision for us to do. And then I kind of just weren't sure if we were going to continue anymore. Okay. But, you know, we realized, you know, Avi and I, as you know, we set our lives up to do this kind mm -hmm. of thing. So we realized pretty quickly that, excuse me, that we, you know, kind of should just keep making music because that's what we do and that's what we love to do together. And, and so we we had a bunch of back box songs and we converted our, our shed out back into a little, you know, rehearsal space and uh, Roggy and I just started jamming again. And we have, you know, developed some songs that were older and wrote some new stuff and and decided that we were probably going to make this big, long, sprawling album. No holds <laughs> barred. You know, no worries about song length or vinyl length or anything. We just wanted to finally make the record that we had always wanted to make without any deadlines. I mean, we'd always... Jack was always pretty open with allowing us to do whatever we wanted, but yep. we would always had to be within the confines of a single piece of vinyl. That was just sort of an unspoken rule. You know, sure. We didn't want to get, you know, get them into a double vinyl because that's expensive. Definitely. And we understood that. And, you know, and also too, they were, you know, near the end there, they were kind of hoping that, you know, they were suggesting that maybe the songs, you know, be a little bit shorter so <laughs> that we could try to run for radio and, <laughs> yeah. We, kinda, we, you know, we did that for fun. Yeah, we thought it was a, yeah, we must have see if we could do it. It was a fun exercise. But this record, we were like, let's just go, let's just do Besner the way Besner supposed to be. And so it ends up being two pieces of vinyl. We didn't know if anybody would even put it out. We weren't sure if anyone even cared. Yeah. And lo and behold, we find 
uh, full-time hobby in the UK who becomes our main label. And then we have uh, Flemish Eye and uh, Bat Cat in the USA. And uh, it's been amazing. It was just pretty cool seeing the labels are really excited about working with us. And I mean, with Jag, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when you're with a, when you're with someone for a really long time, you, if you're not careful, you kind of start taking advantage of each other. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, we have like a brand new, we have these brand new labels now, and everybody's so excited, and you know, it's getting a real good push, and you know, we haven't really had this 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 feeling of you know having a record out like this kind of excitement in a really long time. So we're we're really happy. Good. Well, that makes that makes me think of uh, one of the things that really stuck out to me, and maybe this binds into what you're saying is you you chose the word "are" like the Besner Lakes are the last great thunderstorm warnings. Like it connects it in the same way that the album kind of stays connected. Is were you going for connectivity there? Yeah, yeah. Well, we wanted to. We wanted to. To. to go, we're, I mean, for lack of a better term, we wanted to kind of go back to our roots. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Dropped, that was the other thing too. Like with, with you know, uh, we were kind of coerced into dropping Desert Lakes as a. Which kind of became our thing. And okay, we, right. It, was, it got dropped for a couple albums because it was in really hard to cat to catalog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, who had never heard us before weren't sure if that's the entire name of the band. The people who knew us knew that it's the best place, but some people would think that the the whole title was the actual name of the band. Right. So we stopped doing it, but now we're you know for this record we're like. Fuck it. Like, this is, yeah, no, get I back mean, to the roots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I like that it's bold. Even had it's some bold. fans who were excited, they kept asking, don't drop this, you got to bring it back. And yeah. So, you know, we brought it back. <laughs> Excellent. Um, now, what, what the hell is I going to say next? Okay, so, yeah, so I, I think the album and all your music is a beautiful uh, listening mindscape on the stereo and headphones on a, on a on headphones on a road trip staring at icebergs which is a great thing to do in newfoundland uh, uh, laying on the living room floor letting go for a while and it also that concept um of you know streaming everything together lends itself to a beautiful live show and that's what you're going to be offering us on april 3rd for the last installment of your winter live stream series and a great way to bring yeah. in the spring and uh tell us more about this live stream series and how we can celebrate it well it's gonna the first one that we did was the was the new album front to back okay and then the second cool. one that we did was uh more of a retrospective of older songs and so this one is gonna be an amalgamation of the two so we'll have uh, oh, cool. and we have such a it gets hard writing set lists now because we have <laughs> six albums yeah. of songs yeah so we we're trying to some songs, you know, are kind of fan favorites. People have been asking for them for a while. Uh, some, some are, you know, self-indulgent. They're songs that we love to play. And, yeah. But the set ends up being about two hours long. So this is going to be a really, really long set. But it's going to be pretty nice. It'll be at Sala, you know, at our, you know, one of our favorite venues in, in Montreal that we haven't played in. In a long time. Oh, you get to do so, it at a venue, so it'll actually be at a venue. That's that's great. I, yeah, yeah, so that'll be really yeah. awesome. Actually, we're pretty excited about that. And I'll have my uh, a couple of years ago, I had a friend of mine build me a harness so I can operate four Leslie speaker cabinets at once. Oh, nice. And I can yeah. control the the horns and the speakers of uh, each individual cabinet. So I put them on the floor of the venue i mean it was a plan before the pandemic hit that we would have uh quadraphonic sound of uh, <laughs> happening in the in the audience while we play our set yeah so that's just gonna be something that we hopefully are able to incorporate once shows start happening again but you'll be able to actually see it happening on, on this uh, we had it for the first couple shows but because we had to be socially distanced and you couldn't really see it on the uh, on the cameras, but you could sure hear it. It was it's a pretty awesome sound. <laughs> okay, so we get get break out the good stereo gear for this one. Yes, if you got it, like the headphones or the and you know 
Get get the good gear. Get the surround sound system up and running. Get get your, <laughs> drag your dad's stuff out of the basement. Yeah. <laughs> set it up. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And you and also so it's on the it'll be Saturday April third and you if if you get if you purchase the live stream you can run it for forty eight hours. Am I correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah great. Watch it. You can watch it when it streams, and then after it's over, you can watch it whenever you want for another 48 hours. Excellent. So I, I'm, I'm guessing the best place to guide people to is the website. They just type in Besner Lakes and go to the website. I and... think so. I, I mean, Augie just opened your eyes wide. We're not sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe it's a social media might be better. Like, I think okay. it's posted on our Instagram yeah, and it's, Facebook. It's, and... It's, uh, it's a website called Moon Chorus that you go and buy your ticket. And... But there's a link somewhere on our Facebook site. Or yeah, I've, I've seen it on the Facebook. Oh, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, try, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to create a general, the easiest, I try to, uh, the best way for listeners to just type it in and get yeah. get over there and figure out, listen to the music, Bandcamp, all that stuff. And I, obviously there'll be links to, you know, purchase the music either digitally. I, I, I know you get, you folks are big fans of uh, vinyl too. So it's oh, a, a, gr- a great way to experience this music is vinyl. Um, yeah. And, and I, I think, uh, wow, thanks for uh, joining. Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. No problem. And uh, have a wonderful evening, everyone. More wonderful dreams. We sat out the storm through the night. Then the morning light came and shone upon the beautiful Besnard Lakes. Glimmering on the morning dew, in the distance we heard raindrops. I can